In this video trailer, we're gonna cut a little hack to create a risk reward ratio tool in MT4. Stay tuned. Hey guys, very warm welcome to you. All right, so MT4, super popular platform. You're pleased to know that it's a platform that is offered by our channel spot. There's a link to those guys in the description below. Go and check them out. Multi-regulated, of course, offering MT4 and MT5 if you prefer. MT4 is super popular, um, super stable, and you can trade all the markets, the, the currencies, your indices, commodities, uh, etc. Like I say, check them out. Link in the description below. Uh, well worth a look. But there's a little hack that you can do to create a good tool to visually represent or visualize the risk reward ratio of your trade. So we know that we want to have a good risk reward ratio. In other words, you risk one to make two, to make three, to make four, etc. And sometimes you kind of look at the chart, is it the right trade, is it not? With this hack, you know, hack, maybe that's not the right word for it, but this little kind of adjustment of tool is that means that we can visualize it and see on the chart, see where our third scale will be, see if the risk reward ratio fits our parameters and just makes life a lot, lot easier. So let's hit the screens now and I'll show you what it's all about. Hey traders, welcome to MT4. Account. If you want to check these guys out, uh, there's a link in the description below on this video. Um, super easy to open an account, multi-regulated, well worth uh, taking a look at. So I've got their account open now, MT4, of course. What I want to show you is a little hack, well, I guess it's a hack, um, a little way of calculating risk reward ratio, a little, little calculator tool for MT4. And I'm a big fan of risk reward ratio. And guys, I think you should be too. If you look at any um, of the big, big time traders out there, even hedge fund managers and, uh, and anyone really who has had long-term success in this game, they're all gonna say the same thing. You need, you've gotta have the risk order ratio on your side. It's not easy to be right consistently, but you don't need to be if your risk reward ratio is paying you many, many more times when you're right uh, than when you're wrong. So just bear that in mind, guys. Not many people um, will trade for a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio or will trade for uh, you know, a low risk order ratio. You want to be making many times uh, your risk when you are right. So a way of helping you do this is this little tool. How do we do it? Fibonacci retracement, you guys probably know the score with this already. So let's say we're doing our um, Fib on here. Let's say we're going from the, uh, the high point to let's say the low point here, and we've got a USD JPY chart. Could be anything. Uh, with Fib, you know, we see the retracement, 61.8, the 50s, etc., and the extensions. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit those tool. We're going to edit that tool to change some of the properties on it. So. What we do is once we've once we've highlighted it, if we can get it, right click it, Fibo properties. And what we're gonna do guys is we are going to remove all the existing labels. So we're gonna delete these all off and we're gonna create our own. So once we've deleted them all off, uh, obviously change your color if you need to, etc. And then we're gonna add our levels. So the first one we're gonna add our zero level and we're gonna put that, we're gonna change the description of that and we're gonna put stop. Okay, so that's our stop level. I'm gonna hit enter and that's done. Now the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna change all of our levels and add our risk reward ratio settings. So for example, uh, we put our entry in as 0.5. Yeah, and what we can do a little hack here guys is we can put uh, the, the label entry, but if we put a percentage and then a dollar sign, that basically tells MT4 that we wanna display the price. So we can just have entry if you want it, but we want to display the price. So it's a little hack that we can do uh, to help us out with that. Now, I'm going to add some more levels on here. I'm not going to go crazy and add them all. You can add what you want. So one would be a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. So we'd do one to one. And again, if we put the percentage, uh, percentage and dollar, that's going to show us the price. And let's say we want to add another one of, uh, you know, two to one, for example. So we could put 1.5 here and we could put description uh, two to one. And again, we could put the percentage dollar here to tell MT4 that. Let's just put one more on and say we're gonna do uh, three to one, for example. So again, we just put in here, uh, we put in our, our level, a price level, which would be two on here. And then our description, for example, would be uh, one to three and then we just put our modifier in which would help us do that okay now we hit okay and we are away all of a sudden now we have some interesting stuff don't we because we can move this to our entry point and it is going to automatically adjust 
the risk reward ratio depending on where we have the stop, which is exactly what we want. If you want one to one, if you want two to one, if you want three to one, we can do whatever one likes, four to one, three to five, etc. And we can see the price point. So let's say, for example, we are down here. Let's say, for example, we decided, hey, we want to buy this little breakout here. We want to have a stop below that low. So we drag our stop to where the level is. We drag our entry to where our entry is. We can move it around and adjust it. So we've got our entry point here. It's telling us what our entry is. We've got our stop. Now it's automatically with this tool saying, okay, well, there's your first one-to-one -one if you want to look for a one-to-one. -one. There's two-to-one, there's three-to-one. And of course, if you want to put more on, uh, four-to-one, five-to-one, six-to-one, uh, you can do that. You can just multiply it. Uh, by the number and add it on there and of course use that modifier to show you so very quickly number one you can see where your target should be if you were taking that trade let's say we were taking that breakout there and we're looking for you know a three to one move we can then scroll back and go all right well does it fit in with the chart is it above a resistance level okay maybe that's maybe we're not going to get three to one maybe we need to wait and get a little bit of a lower price to give us a three to one so then we can start modifying it and go well actually if we want to have three to one but we don't want to look for an ultimate breakout at the beginning of the month for example we think that's too much we might want to wait for price to retrace a little bit so you can really start to play around with this you can start to move your stop loss you can start to move your entry and you can start to see how that would frame and affect your ultimate uh, price target and one thing guys that you know I've talked about a lot uh, and I think is super important is how important it is to wait for the right entry because if you can wait for that sweet spot entry let's say you're waiting around here and let's say you're looking for a long and you saw this little this kind of put flush through that didn't trade and started to push back up uh, and you took a long here and you had your stop here just look how better the risk order ratio becomes when you're a bit more patient you're waiting for an entry the wider your stop is i know it, is, it seems obvious but the wider your stop is the, it really does extend that risk reward the target much further out becomes far less likely for it to be hit because the more you're extending that stop look at that a nice a big wide stop you're looking for a really significant move to get your risk reward ratio now, i'm not saying you always need to use a very narrow stop but if you can be patient enough to wait for a good trigger to come in like it for example this i'm just got it up here for example purposes but you know your little push through comes back out finally finds a little bit of a bid you know you say right i'm long here my stops below that little wick low uh i'm adjusting it i'm, I'm amending it and tweaking it. you have to play around with it a bit guys kind of like here right that puts my risk reward ratio two to one a very feasible level three to one very feasible level four to one etc you can really start to frame um exactly you know what you want i'm um, showing you guys that is um that is the risk reward kind of tool hack if you like you use your fib you follow those steps and you can create your own and of course you can create your own values as well whatever you you like to do so i hope that's helped uh, don't forget to check out option below get you hooked up with mt4 multi-regulated um all the good stuff you expect from a good broker take care bye bye